guys, there's a lot of new gaming monitors coming this year. And of course, you're going to need high performance HDMI cable. I've been using Rui Pro cables when testing TVs, monitors, and projectors, and I highly recommend this brand. And recently, they released their thinnest high-performance HDMI 2.1 cable, which is more flexible, and it's ultra-certified for high-speed data transfer. So if you're looking for a reliable HDMI cable for your home theater or gaming setup, check out Rui Pro cables. There's going to be a link in the description of the video. Guys, Joster here. Welcome back to CES 2024. And I'm here with a company called Innocence. I have done videos with them before and they have released, or they're about to release three new QD OLED and OLED monitors. And these look beautiful because guess what? These are glossy monitors. Look at these displays. Yes, there's going to be a lot of reflections, especially because in this area where I'm in right now, it's very bright there's a lot of things going on here at ces so expect a lot of reflections but i love having a glossy display especially when it comes down to oled or q the oled and these monitors look beautiful look at those beautiful colors deep black levels what i'm seeing this is a 32 inch 4k 240 hertz off refresh rate so yes it is great for gaming Let's take a look at the back real quick and this is also a curved monitor what i like about it too is that the curve is not very pronounced you guys see that it is very very thin bezel is designed it looks beautiful the screen is actually made by samsung so it is qd oled here in the back we have some rgb lights and the base it comes with a uh, two hdmi 2.1 ports display port usb type c a couple usbs right there very very beautiful monitor very basic there's not well except for the rgb lights but i like that and then right next to it we have a 1440p this is a 27 inch monitor and it's also 360 hertz off refresh rate so both of these monitors are designed for gaming with QD OLED in mind and it's also glossy display so it does have a lot of reflections like I said but I don't mind that honestly I prefer that instead of matte finish displays because colors look much better here better black levels sharper image and I can show you right now the difference for example here is a W OLED this does have a matte finish display Although right now, the picture looks beautiful because it is very bright and colorful. But when it comes down to black levels, I just, it doesn't compare to a glossy display like this one right here. This is also new and I think this already was released in Asia, but it's coming out to the US market. What I like about this monitor is that it has front facing speakers right here and the base, you can charge your phone that's pretty cool let's take a look at the back real quick and look at that the design for these monitors are beautiful i have worked with innocence before and i know some of their monitors they have really good quality as a matter of fact i still have the monitor that i review from them but uh let me see if some information right here so w oled qhd 240 hertz of refresh rate and it has those two front-facing speakers and wireless Q charging. That's pretty cool. But this is a matte finish monitor. If you are looking for a glossy, there you go. They have that option right here. So hopefully I get one of these monitors for review. They're about they're going to release these monitors in around summer. That's what they say. About May and June. So stay tuned for that. I don't have any pricing information just yet. But as soon as I get my hands on one of these monitors, I will make sure to tell you how it performs and how it looks gaming. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to stay tuned for more CES coverage right here from Vegas. Joster out.